Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at one of the most esoteric keyboard switches I've ever seen in my life, and which I've been aching to show you for a while now, AT&T Magnetic Separation Switches. These switches use a magnet as a clicker and a tactile element, which is quite original to say the least. It's also completely brilliant, I'm stunned. The switch housing clips into a mounting plate and has a square magnetic ring fixed at the bottom, which is the thing that works the magic. The slider itself is two-part, with a coil spring between the two parts, and it has a steel ring anchored to the top of the bottom part. This steel ring is what the magnet gets attracted to. So what happens is that you press the top slider, which presses on the coil spring, and then when the force is high enough to push the magnet off of the steel ring, the bottom part is suddenly launched downwards, which produces a tactile vent with a fairly unique feel and sound. At the bottom is a very thin foam pad with a conducting foil on it, so the sensing mechanism is basically foam and foil, which isn't too spectacular on its own. But the fact that the magnet uses parallel forces to provide both tactility and clicky noises means that it's a contactless clicker, which is really cool, and so simple as well, I'm surprised no one else ever did it. It's ingenious. It's also one of very few clicky switch designs that has the click matched up perfectly to the actuation, which only a handful of switches can do, such as beam and buckling springs, as well as Marquardt Butterfly. I'll be doing a review about a keyboard with these switches in this weekend, in which I'll talk about the key feel and sound in more detail, so keep your eyes peeled. With a housing, top slider, bottom slider, coil spring, magnet ring, steel ring, foam pad and foil square, it's got eight parts in total, which is kind of medium complicated. Many parts are inseparable though. That's it for this switch teardown, I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you this weekend. Bye guys! I'd like to get